Well, covering the Treasure Coast, this is video of animal control officers in Fort Pierce removing 48 dogs and one cat from a home in a suspected hoarding case. We were the first to arrive on the scene. All of this unfolding on Amy Lane. That's near the Treasure Coast International Airport, and that's where we find our Angela Rozier live with the new developments and the suspects now facing criminal charges. Ange? That's right. I can tell you that two adults who were inside this home here behind me earlier this morning. Well, they are now in custody and they're facing criminal charges, including child neglect. And that's because the sheriff says two minors were also inside that home at the time. And they're always howling and screaming over there. The dogs. It's just a shame. This is what officials with St. Lucie County Animal Control found when they showed up at this home in the 4900 block of Amy Lane Tuesday morning. They were there to conduct a welfare check. The owners here refused to let us in the home. We did call the sheriff's department to have some deputies to come out. We noticed that there was a foul smell from outside of the home. As well, we could see the conditions in the home through the sliding glass door. They found 48 dogs and one cat living in deplorable conditions. We could tell that there was feces all over the floor. Um, the floor was caving in just inside of the sliding glass door. So we did have concerns for the safety and well-being of the animals in the house. Officials say they were responding after getting a complaint back in May about the number of animals living in the home. They say they offered to spay and neuter the animals, but the owners turned them down. This neighbor says he called to report the dogs were being neglected. Because of the noise, for one, and because I could see so many dogs in one house, and I don't see them going out, you know, that's abuse right there. You got that many dogs in the house, how could you keep it sanitary? Another neighbor was heartbroken when she saw the conditions of the dogs, one in particular. It must have been a mama. She was about this big and about this tall, and they brought her out, and her ribs, they were like, together like this. She could barely walk. The case is still ongoing. And I've been doing this a long time and uh, not not many things surprised me. This this was very, very shocking to me. The, how you wouldn't let a dog live in there. You wouldn't let a loved one live in there. And the sheriff says anyone interested in adopting the animals, they can contact the Animal Safety Division. But he also says that the dogs will not be available for viewing until the custody case has been resolved. In St. Lucie County, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.